about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another House and Home program. I'm Theresa Miria, and I'm more than happy to have you join me once again. Tell you what, this particular episode is coming to you with a great package and that includes another chef Reggie style of cooking. Trust me, you don't want to miss this surprise. Also, we have more on Brandel's great products with great prices. Joining us later on in the show for some great variety of herbs, we have for you the Garden Lifestyle, followed by BSB's April's edition, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, and finally, more sewing on home habits. So before we begin our show tonight, we join Chef Roger on cooking with house and home. But before we do that, viewers, you might want to need a notepad and a biro for this one. Because once you get the hang of it, you're going to love it. So here's cooking with house and home. Enjoy. Good evening, all. I'm here in my roundhouse today, trying to show you all uh, eggplant which is called Brinjal Moju which is an Asian influence. I got um, eggplant here, some carrots and onions and chilies and I got some sultanas and uh, some grain mustard, some um, brown sugar and I also got some spreads. Spreads it's called um, white bait in New Zealand and it is a very um, a delicacy in New Zealand as well and it which is uh, commonly used in Asia as well and some salt and uh, vinegar I got there. Uh, I have oil here, I'm going to fry this um, eggplant into this, but before that I'm going to cut it into dices. So easy way to cut eggplant. Cut it in an angle, like this. And turn it around. And dices. I got some turmeric powder here. I just put the turmeric powder in there. And um, with the eggplant, that uh, if you don't fry the eggplant straight away or cook the eggplant, you need to put the eggplant in the water because eggplant get discolored. But I'm gonna fry it now so I won't be putting in the water. Get my oil on again. While the oil is getting hot, I'm going to slice some carrot. Same way I sliced eggplant. It's kind of carrot strips, I'm going to do it now. Not too thick and not too thin. My oil is hot now. I'm going to put uh, the eggplant into it. Be careful when you are dropping things into the egg, uh, hot oil because oil can overflow. It doesn't take much time, it takes only about two minutes and in the meantime I'm going to cut my carrot in there. And while it still should be another minute, I'll get my onions ready, just a half onion, more than enough. Just cutting to dices. is the easy way of cutting onions. Mm. 
My eggplant is ready now. I'm going to strain it into this um, white basket. Now I'm going to fry my uh, spreads, so it will be nice and crunchy. While that's happening there, I'm actually going to get my um, dressing ready for this. I get my vinegar into it and the mustard, grain mustard. and brown sugar and a little bit of salt just a bit just mix it up let's see I fry a bit. I get my carrots in there. Carrot goes uncooked, so it will be nice and crunchy. And now I put the onion in there. Mix it up. A little bit of spice. Take the seeds out. Get the chili in there. Mix it up. Now I get my egg, eggplant into this. It looks like my spice are ready. You can see on golden brown so it's ready it's a bit crunchy drain the oil a bit Mix it up nicely. And finally, I get the sultanas into it. And your sultanas gives a bit of sweet paste. Eggplant, which is called brinjal, uh, it's like a pickle. It is a pickle, in fact, it's with the vinegar and mustard. So it, you can keep this in a bottle, airtight bottle, for months, and you can have this for with any other uh, meal, with rice or whatever it is. The eggplant, uh, which is the uh, name of this, is called moju, and it's Chef Roger style. The eggplant rinzo module, the Chef Roger style. What a way to start off the show tonight. Honestly speaking, I just feel like grabbing a bite already. This is at the top of my favorite food list. How does he even do that? Very talented indeed, and thanks for that. Coming up after the break, we have for you Brian Bell, so stay tuned.
Welcome back. Before we take a look at what Brian Bell is featuring tonight, let me begin this way. Starting up a family requires a lot of time and attention to make your new home look and feel like a home. Well, obviously, you need to make sure your home is comfortable to live in, you need a nice kitchen to prepare the best meal for your family, and also things needed for a nice living room and many more. So if you're wondering where exactly to purchase all this, rest assured, Brian Bell has all the answers. So here's Shopping with Brian Bell. Enjoy. Good evening and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. Tonight we check out our fridges. Not just any fridge, but our Sharp fridges. Sharp is a through and through Brian Bell brand. These are our big, small, and medium sized fridges. So let's not delay, let's get started. Fridges have become an integral part of the modern household with it being a necessity in all homes. It's arguably the most important appliance because of its cooling, storage, and ability to preserve food. As far as I remember, Brian Bell has the best range of fridges available for sales with brands like Sharp, Fisher & Paykel, Westinghouse, and West Point. All quality brands available here at Brian Bell. Especially here in PNG, where you will need something to keep your food and drinks cool all the time because of the ever-present heat of the tropics. And fridges are the perfect appliance for that. We focus on the Sharp range of fridges. Sharp is a Japanese brand that was created by Tokuji Hayakawa in 1912. Amongst his many creations, he invented an ever-sharp mechanical pencil, from which the Sharp Corporation derived its name. And from then on, an empire was built. Now, Sharp produces a range of appliances and products like our fridges. Sharp is renowned to have some of the best fridges around the world. And here at Brian Bell, we stock and sell a diverse range of these Sharp fridges. Now, before you pick a Sharp fridge, there are certain things that you need to consider. Things like, one, the dimensions of the fridge, the width and the width towards the back, and whether it will fit into your kitchen corner or not. Two, what will actually go into the fridge. Three is the quantity of the stuff that will go into your fridge. And four is how the door will open up, whether it will affect other cupboards in your house or your kitchen, or whether it will affect the door into your kitchen. These are things that you have to consider so you can pick the perfect fridge that will fit into your house beautifully. Our first fridge to show is this sharp 180 liter fridge. This would be ideal for the smaller families. This refrigerator will easily fit into the corner of your kitchen and complement your kitchen well. Obviously being smaller, it will consume less electricity and at the same time keep your food and drinks cool. And who wouldn't enjoy a cool slice of watermelon on a hot day or a nice cool drink before you head to bed? This sharp fridge has all the necessities you could ever need in a fridge. It has excellent cooling capacity and decent enough space for you to store all your foods in. There's trays for your eggs and trays to put all your groceries. and. With the sharp cooling technology, you will always have ready fresh food ready for your next meal. The next sharp fridge is this sharp 256 liter medium sized refrigerator. It has all the perks you could expect from a sharp fridge, and this product may cost you a little bit more, but it will last you longer given that you maintain it well with general cleaning and refilling the gas. This sharp fridge has several trays and compartments both in the deep fridge and the normal fridge space that will store your food for later consumption. This fridge is perfect for the mid to big size families or for you hostel owners. This is perfect to cater to your tenants who share a common kitchen. Now also, the 256 liter capacity of the fridge can allow for many people to use this fridge at the same time and it's economical with its power consumption. The final fridge to show is the state-of-the-art massive 649 liter sharp fridge with plasma cluster technology. Plasma cluster technology has negative and positive ions that are released from the air vents when there is a deactive airborne mold spores. This reduces the smell and odors and keeps your food fresher for longer. 
all fridges can store food, but can they keep it nice and fresh? Well, this fridge can do that for you. Now apart from that technology, other features on this fridge include the hybrid cooling system, electronic temperature control, fruit and vegetable cases, LED lighting, and a massive 649 liter capacity to hold all the different foods that you and your family can consume in your day-to-day -day lives. Now obviously, this is a high-end fridge from a quality brand, Sharp. This fridge is for the bigger families and it can hold all your groceries with its 649 liter capacity. These are your groceries like your kids' lunches, your breakfast menu, lunch and dinner menus. This fridge is a high quality fridge that is guaranteed to keep all your fruits and veggies fresh for your consumption. Now before we end this segment, Mother's Day is coming up and Brian Bell has a competition running, the Mother's Choice competition, to celebrate this day. There will be 32 lucky winners for the 500 kina gift voucher to be spent at any home center. There's eight weekly winners and these winners will have a chance to spend that 500 kina at any of our home centers across PNG. The major prize of the store grand draw will be drawn on the 9th of May at 10 a.m. in the eight respective home centers across PNG. There will be eight lucky winners of a thousand kina gift voucher, each to be spent at any home center. All you need to do to enter is spend more than 50 kina at any home center, receive the entry form, fill in your details on the form and place it in the draw box for your chance to win. Any purchase of 50 kina gets you one entry, 100 kina gets you two entries, 250 kina gets you five entries and so on. So you get it, right? The more you spend, the more chances you have of winning. Now I hope you've enjoyed tonight's segment and you've seen that Brian Bell has the best fridges here available for you. There's a great range of brands, but particularly our sharp range. From the 180 liter smaller fridge to the 649 liter fridge, perfect for bigger families, Brian Bell is the shop for you. Come on in and enter our Mother's Choice competition as well. Win something for your mom this Mother's Day. And always remember, great prices, great products. That's Brian Bell. Until the next time, good night and God bless. There you go viewers, Brian Bell has a lot covered for all its valued customers and yes, Mother's Day is happening in the next month and I'm sure you've seen some special promotions. Hey, believe me when I say this, every time I go to Brian Bell Home Center, this place takes me to the future. And with the best fridges being featured tonight, I want to have one like that in my own house and I'm sure you're dreaming of that too. A quick breather's up now, Garden Lifestyle is up next. Welcome back. So we've started off this episode with an amazing food recipe followed by Brian Bell with its best fridges available where you can store and preserve food for your family and so on. But for now, it is all about physical health. Taking good care of yourself and your family is the most important thing you should practice. So without further ado, here's a wonderful edition on Garden Lifestyle. Enjoy. Herbal medicines are one type of dietary supplement. They're sold as tablets, capsules, powders, teas, extracts, and fresh or dried plants. People use herbal medicines to try to maintain or improve their health. The World Health Organization estimates that 80% of the population of some Asian and African countries presently uses herbal medicine for some aspect of primary health care. Many of the pharmaceuticals currently available to physicians have a long history of use as herbal remedies, including opium, aspirin, digital use, and quinine. Approximately 25% of modern drugs used in medicines have been derived from plants. Among the 120 active compounds currently isolated from the higher plants and widely used in modern medicine today, 
80% show a positive correlation between modern therapeutic use and traditional use of the plants from which they are derived. Now let us hear what John Kukuma has to say about what the NGO Garden Lifestyle has to offer. Name me John Kukuma, Nebla Mount Hagen, Western Islands Province. I have started a little company named Garden Lifestyle. I have been started in 2009. I have come down to Mosby in 2013. I have started in Mosby close to long triple years now. So, when I started in Mosby, I have been multi purpose products in Blasalem, especially long helping all sick man renew all body cells long on. Garden Lifestyle is here to help everyone to understand that consuming herbs is not a bad thing. In the past and before westernization, herbs have been in use for a very long time during the traditional times and they have been very successful. Here's more from John. Uh, you know, one kind of them drugs and no no got side effect to slow products no got overdose to slow products or liquid money can kiss him or lapuni can kiss him money no seeking and kiss him because emi sells products not to emi kaiketa son same time you can kiss him product marasin blang out sick now same time you kiss him slow products no got side effect no got overdose they are not drugs they are not medicine they are herbs but they are very effective and uh, they do ill cancer, all diseases in the body. The main uh, disease that it heals is uh, cancer, asthmatic people for so many years, kidney problem, high blood pressure, our six organs in the system with these products. Uh, plenty have been healed. And we got testimonies of people uh, on the walls uh, that have been healed. And uh, not that uh, they came back to us, but we tell them, First, once they're healed, we tell them to go to the hospital and, and get scanned and confirm that your sick has been ill. And then, once they get the confirmation, they come back to us and we write the report, get the pictures, put the testimonies up. We don't just go Allah and get the pictures and write them testimonies and put them up, no. Till we get confirmed, for, confirmed from the uh, doctors that uh, they have been ill of what sick they have in the body. These herbal medications can be quite costly, but they do actually work for everyone. There is a wide variety of herbal products to choose from, and each one plays a different role to tackle medical conditions, giving you a natural boosted energy, and also making you feel good about yourself. Okay, I'll uh, brief you what uh, we sell here in uh, Garden Lifestyle. First is uh, we go for cleansing. We tell our clients to get a cleanse because uh, the cleanse goes and uh, cleanses our internal system, get rid of all the toxins in our body, and cleanse uh, detoxifies and uh, cleanses our system. So with a uh, high blood pressure and that sort of uh, uh, sickness, cleanse is the best product to cleanse our internal system. And once inside is uh, all cleaned, the toxins are got rid of. And then uh, the next uh, second step is uh, the crypto. Actually, cleanse is made out of uh, vegetable fibers, apple, oil palm, and so forth. So it's a uh, hex like a broom in our internal uh, organs and uh, intestines. And uh, once our inside is clean, the crypto, uh, it's called crypto monodalis. So the short word is crypto. It goes in. It goes in and. Uh, hits the sick and then it gives a uh, get rid of the cancerous cells and it gives new blood and uh, it's got no side effect no overdose uh, multi-purpose products and it's uh, not only well marketed it's a, a product of the 21st century
there you have it. This is for those of you who have requested to watch for more information. The Garden Lifestyle here at the Garden City ground floor here in Port Moresby. When we come back after the break, we join Miss Tina Pomat for some fresh updates on BSB April's edition. Welcome back. You're watching House and Home if you've just tuned in. Obviously, wise budgeting is very important these days and it can be definitely helpful in the long run. So here now is BSB April's edition. Good evening viewers and welcome to another BSB program. Tonight, we continue with updates on our community project initiatives and also look at other sponsorship activities for this month. Just a brief on what was discussed last segment, BSP will deliver 45 projects by the end of this year, covering various needs in the community focusing mostly on the theme renewable energy and provision of clean water. To date, BSP branches and staff nationwide have successfully delivered five community projects out of the 45 to be completed. Here are some images of two branches that have ended over this month. In Kimbe, the branch staff, with the assistance of the contractor, installed two 9,000 litres water tanks to Daraba Elementary School. The school is about 45 minutes drive west of Kimbe town and is home to the hot springs in West New Britain. Students walk a kilometre down to the springs to collect drinking water, which they leave to cool before consuming. With the new tanks installed, students can now conveniently access clean water to drink. Over in Aitape, the branch installed solar lights and donated a solar fridge to store vaccine at the Lumi Health Centre. This has increased confidence in staff attending to patients and emergencies in the night and more importantly, are able to aid in facilitating childbirth in better lighting. Moving on to the sponsorship events earlier this month in Kimbe, BSP announced its sponsorship as the naming rights sponsor to the 7th PNG Games to be held in Kimbe, Western Britain later this year. Host Organising Committee Deputy Chairman Honourable Daka Wagai thanked BSP management for the bank's continued commitment in supporting sports that further brings development in the country. BSP Group CEO Robin Fleming was in Kimbe to announce BSP's commitment saying the bank is part of its long-term commitment to supporting sporting and cultural events around the country. PNG Games is a platform that identifies PNG's for sporting talent of which BSP is proud to support. Another significant support this month and coinciding with the ABEC PNG meeting is the e-commerce SME Summit held yesterday at the newly built Convention Centre in Port Moresby. In recognising the importance contribution SME sector contributes into a country's economic support, this summit will further develop the SME in the e-commerce platform that will improve the whole ecosystem of SME in the country. BSP is proud to support at Gold Level sponsor with 20,000 kina. Back to sports, BSP supported the Junior pro -Am event with 5,000 kina that was held in the lead-up to the 2016 SP Redler PNG Golf Open. 27 young golfers had fun on the golf course, whilst at the same time gaining knowledge from visiting professional golfers from the Queensland PGA. Trophies and prizes were given to the best scoring players and concluded with questions and answer sessions with the professional players. Also this month, BSP teamed up with one of its corporate clients, Any Guinea, to provide a more convenient way to purchase airline tickets using BSP Mobile Banking. This new service means customers can make bookings via the Air New Guinea website, call centre or sales office, obtain a booking reference and then purchase via BSP Mobile Banking. To purchase your e-ticket, customers must type in star 277 hash using BSP Mobile Banking. Follow the prompts and purchase is done within minutes. The e-ticket details are sent via SMS, which customers can use to check in online or at the airport. It is available to both B-Mobile Vodafone and Digicel subscribers registered for BSP Mobile Banking. To register, customers can contact BSP Customer Service 
Center on 320-1212 or 7030-1212. Moving on to health, BSP has donated 250,000 kina per year over three years towards Burnett Institute's Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies five-year research program to address the high rate of pregnancy-related death and disability among women and children in Papua New Guinea. More than 5,000 newborns die each year in PNG, and another 7,000 won't survive to their fifth birthday. Yet, two-thirds of these deaths could be prevented with basic but effective interventions. Our children are our future, and by improving their lives and that of any woman, we're building a healthy and stronger community that will ultimately contribute to the development of the country. Burnett Institute is an Australian not-for-profit medical research institute. Its mission is to achieve better health for poor and vulnerable communities in Australia and internationally through research, education, and public health. Director and CEO Professor Brandon Crabb said BSB has made a significant and welcome investment in the health and welfare of PNG's most precious resource. That brings us to the end of our program for tonight, but before I go, a quick reminder on scam text messages received by our customers. BSB is warning the general public to beware of scams via text messages, emails, phone calls, and letters. In recent months, Hoax text messaging has increased due to the wide availability of mobile phones. Scammers also have been calling customers claiming they're from BSB and advising them they have won a cash prize. Customers are strongly advised not to entertain any text messages or calls from scammers. BSP currently has no cash prize promotion running. This concludes our program for tonight. Join us next month for more BSP updates. Until then, good night. That was BSB with some fresh updates on its various CSR activities. For further inquiries, do visit your nearest BSB banks and get all the information you need. Healthy Minds is up next, so stay watching. Welcome back to the show. In every home, every parent has a different structure of disciplining their children. Some parents are very mindful about their children's behavior, whilst other parents are never mindful, not even one bit about what or how their children may become when they grow up. So on Healthy Minds tonight, Dr. Abi is helping with some helpful tips on how to discipline your children. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Hi viewers, welcome to our Healthy Mind Shots. Well, what am I going to talk this evening? Well, we are going to talk about disciplining children. I'm sure many parents are looking forward for this and I'm also sure that many children are also learning from here so that they can be a good kids. Well, we talk about disciplining children, what is useful and what is not. Now, plenty of time as a health worker, people are like uh, educating all parents, how now all must uh, discipline him all picking in huh? Now, same time, Mipla all same health workers, we are also parents. Mipla do must save how now you may must line him all piginini, law discipline him all piginini, so that all piginini by come up good plus straight law future, so they don't behave badly. I'm sure we learned about how the children who behave badly last time, and this is the continuation for us to have some tips that how we could discipline our children. One plus something, the first point is to appraise good behavior. So when your children do something good, 
you praise them because we people no got this la uh, attitude law uh, talking about, hey you walk in good la through ah. so also what i want to say that you be very clear when you're praising the children suppose you look him all picking any like uh, uh, all walking all homework pennies and about and about you come back and said oh i see the homework is done i'm so happy then pe all people need to by think oh i'm very capable so all no pili mo se and click click straight all by pili me se i'm strong straight number two be consistent you have a house rule you have a rule within your family so stick to the rules uh, what you have made because do not allow unacceptable behavior and one time and narpla time that don't like that it make it you know narpla time beginning and behave narpla time now narpla parent by care up now oh, i'm all right or this like kind no god you should be very consistent with your rule and the rules apply each time when the child behave uh, abnormal or child misbehaves you should bring that rule now straight to mem number 3 all adults should treat the child same way what because the rules or how you want to discipline the child that you must walk him all same big problem as if two parents have that one and by walk him narpla way narpla way mama by talk him all right this like time picking in need to and by kiss him aha no god em em me by walk him trouble na mama by come stop him no god so all adults must stick the same way to discipline the child number four point is to be clear time you talking pekinini you no can talk us and be clear about what is don't say don't come after 10 or don't come late no god specifically say i want you to be back by 10 o'clock so be clear in your talk talk one time pekinini or say na narpla lo fifth point lo use or you can you have to be calm if we have a financial issue we have a family issue we have other commitment we pla come now shout no good through lo beginning in about talk talk all kind name about no cut be calm when you are disciplining the child do not lose your temper all right so if parents like all same lose the temper then it will be very hard for the child to learn how to deal with your own anger and or or get something and by go confused right so you as a parent you have to be calm All right it's good for us to learn i'm not saying i'm perfect not the point or same use time out time what that means is when child misbehaves the child will go to away or put him in one particular corner in naughty corner or this like kind time you finish this like time out you know can rouse him or same you have to get the child and talk to the child much better you have to also give time in so behaving putting there then also you reward him with click click something na good good pla way nar pla something deny privileges okay for example we have to tell you you can tell the child who is misbehaving and that if they does not behave properly that he cannot watch the television or something so you can actually uh, pull him out click click privilege na about one and some pla time some like time give short term rewards that's also important when you have finished your food or when you have finished your homework that i will give you a chocolate or i'll allow you to watch a television or this la like kind so you can give a short term reward when he does something good spend time with the child talking about the her feeling the child's feeling and their hopes and their fears and share with the child so treat your child as a love and they are trustworthy to talk to you and trust and they are heard okay do not use violence at any circumstances do not really because a slap okay like like pet now you walk him straight him am different okay but when you slap and any extreme step circumstances time you bite him no go through you know go pla na narpla point or same established a contract 
that you me must sit down and talk okay mama or papa must sit down when them pick nini now walk him or same behavior discipline same this la way that's all me plow walk him walk him walk him, walk him little contract now obey him one time this la kind the contract am good plus something and more than anything and you have to have a deal in the contract with the child and the key is the discipline key is to discipline is showing love and respect to the child so for your child the child is expecting love and respect from you as a parent so viewers now you may look look in his law how what are the what the what is useful and what is not useful so you look look in his this last way you may can straight in picking in it come up or same good blah picking in like or same how now you like him picking in it to be good with you so well viewers you are heard enough and this is will help you to understand in a simple way how you can look after your child and i'm sure the good lord will guide you after hearing that until next time take care and god bless you all bye bye now this is healthy mind with dr ambi proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. That was Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi. Some of the important things that I've picked out is treating your children equally, praising your children's good behavior. So now that you've seen and heard from Dr. Ambi, what is your vision as a parent? How can you structure a perfect disciplinary format for your children to strictly follow with respect and obedience? And what kind of life do you want your children to have in the future? Every child has a purpose in life and that they have every right to be well looked after by their parents. Sewing is one of the best and simplest DIY activities. You may be wondering what DIY is. Well, it's simply do it yourself. So here's what we have for you on Home Habits. Have a look. Hi, I'm Mayor Manasseh from WGM Tailoring, and I'm so glad to have you join me tonight once again. For tonight, I'll be showing you how to do a tablecloth, a simple one, and also a placemat. So, let's get started. So here before me, I have two floral cotton material. This is a smaller tablecloth, which you can use for a coffee table, and this is the one that I've already done. This here is the one that is longer, and I will be using to show you how to sew a tablecloth. So I'm going to start off by cutting our material and I need of course my tape measure, my scissors and some pins. First of all, all you have to do is place your fabric on the table and start cutting the exact measurement which is 165 by 64 centimeters. It's cut. Cuts the cut out piece of material. Secondly, fold the edges, create a hem of one centimeter in on all edges and start sewing till you reach the other end. This is one of the most simplest things you can ever sew and yes of course, you can easily sew as many as you can because it's not that hard. Saves you time and money for you and your family. One of the best and simplest DIYs. It's just a matter of sewing all edges one centimeter in to keep them neat and then there you go. You will surely end up with a very simple and easy to make tablecloth. So this is the finished product. The tablecloth that we have just done.
For the placemat, you have 25 by 25 centimeters. Cut all the way around, it's not that hard as long as you have the exact measurement. All you have to do is cut at least six separate pieces of 25 by 25 materials. Place the other four materials between the blue floral material and sew together. This is to give it some thickness. Hem in one centimeter for all edges and leave an opening measuring up to 10 centimeters so that it is easier to turn over the placement. Finally, sew up the 10 centimeter opening and additionally sew all the way around with the decorative stitch. So there you have it, your finished product of a simple placement. So easy to do. So there you go viewers, the final product of a simple tablecloth and a placement. So until next time, I'm Mem Manasseh from WGM Tailoring, wishing you good night and God bless. That was Mrs. Mia Manase from WGM Tailoring on how to sew a simple tablecloth with a placemat. Simple DIY right there. Saves you time and money. And that's all we have for you tonight. I hope you did enjoy watching this episode. Like I always say, if you'd like to see more of our episodes, please visit MTV online to watch. And remember viewers that there's more you can get for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Until the next episode, I'm Teresa Miria, and on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night and enjoy the rest of the week. We care about improving lifestyle. All about the better man for your life with house and home.